Hi guys, uh, Mike Martin here, Magic Page Plugin. Um, just a quick video today. I've been speaking to a few clients recently and they're telling me that some of the local experts in internet marketing and so on and so forth industries are starting to say that Mass Page is dead. Um, Mass Page isn't dead. Um, I'm still making as much money as I ever was in Mass Page and I'm doing that by doing it the same way I've always done it. Um, now, a lot of people do mass page wrong so basically i'm telling you mass page is not dead you're just doing it wrong <laughs> so that's the title of the video it's not a very long video but it is a very valuable video if you watch the video till the end you'll understand exactly how you should be approaching mass page and why a lot of the experts are saying that you're doing it wrong and it's because of the way people are, are going at mass page okay so first of all the big question is are google de-indexing low search pages and the answer to that is yes, they are. Okay, Google are de-indexing low search pages. Why are they doing this? Okay, they are dropping, oh, not doping, <laughs> getting wasted on it. No, they are dropping this because, because they are cutting costs on their indexing budget, okay? So Google are cutting costs on their indexing budgets and they're dropping low search volume pages. So if a page gets searched 50 times a year, a certain keyword, and you have a page, so you're targeting one long tail keyword for some random crazy long tail keyword that only gets searched 50 times a year on the whole planet, you rank number one for it, Google's gonna drop your page and give the ranking to a page that ranks for more keywords. Okay, by the time we get to the end of this video, it's a very short video, like I said, you'll understand completely why. Okay, they're simply giving the spot to pages that rank for many keywords in the same niche. Okay, so they're going for keywords in the same niche. Like for example, if you've got a high authority, well structured, long content page, which is what I've been telling people to do for years, and it's the reason Magic Page Plugin has never gone to multiple page per site because our testing has always shown that if we build one page and put all the same content onto one page and target the major keyword, as opposed to building five small pages all going after long tail keywords, that the long tail keyword ones will drop within a few weeks and they'll never be seen again. The long tail keyword pages rank for all of the long tail keywords, sorry, the long content pages rank for all of the long tail keyword pages for much, much, much longer with a lot less work. You're building one page, you're adding all your content to it and you're done. So, that is the reason. Okay, multiple keyword pages. So this is what I've just been going on to now. Okay, where to find a decorator near me in location. Okay, that's an absolute bullshit keyword to go for. That's the keyword you're targeting for a page. That page will be dropped from the search engines um, and it, it probably won't last very long, six to eight weeks nowadays. Okay, now th that type of long tail keyword should be included in, for example, you've got a review on your page. And the review should say, I was searching where to find a decorator near me in London and I came across Mike's rapid response uh, decorators or whatever you want to call it, not rapid response. Uh, Mike's decorators, they came out, did the job, totally happy with everything they've done and so on and so forth. You only need that on the page once, okay? You don't need that on the page multiple times because it's an easy keyword to rank for, okay? Especially if you're on a page that's already got the authority and it's structured correctly. How much does a joiner cost in location? Another simple keyword. You can add this into your content. So if you're targeting a full page on how much does a joiner cost in location, then you're going to get dropped from the indexing. It just doesn't look real. No, no real business does this type of ranking. No real business puts this type of content on their page. What they will say is if you're worried about how much a joiner costs in London, then you don't need to worry because we've got the best prices and we're the best local Join up, so give us a ring, blah, 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 okay? In your content, okay? Can a local plumber change a plug in location? It's the same situation. We can deal with any size job, big or small. We can come out and change the plug on your bath or we can come out and fit you a full new bathroom. Silly little keywords like this can be fitted and this is where, right, I think this is the last one. Do plumbers replace the floaty ball in the back of the toilet near me in, right? Now, Google would recognize the floaty ball in the back of the toilet as the ball cock. So you don't need to um, put the floaty ball in the back, but this is the type of thing people will search once a year. This will get searched once a year. If you have a page that's going after this, it is gonna get de-indexed, okay? So what you should be chasing, all right? These are the type of keywords you should be chasing, and I've said this for years. This is what I've told people a long time. This is the only keywords I've ever been chasing, 
and incorporate everything else into my content. Decorator and location. Okay, so you can go after a decorator and location. So, same again, joiner, location. Plumber, location. Plumbers in, location. Locksmith, location. Roofer, location. What I'm saying here is stop going after the crap. Real businesses do not target long tail keywords. The second you start building pages based around crappy long tail keywords like what we've just gone through on the last page, you automatically make your sites look like spam. Okay, you're automatically making your website look like it is crap. Like it, like you're going after leads, you're going after lead generation. Okay, okay, basics every page must contain. I'm just going to whip through these really quickly. I'll do a quick recap at the end. Okay, so proper keyword density. You know, how do you get your keyword density? Well, you don't, there is no set keyword density for any industry. So people say, oh, three and four percent, six and eight percent, 12 and nine percent, whatever. They're, they're talking crap. There is no, there's no, no plateau. Basically, go to the top three sites in your industry, in the local areas that you're targeting, do some research on their keyword density, check what's already winning, okay, and follow suit, okay, but do it better. So follow suit with what their keyword density is. Long content. I've been saying this for years. Do not put a couple of hundred words on a page around a crappy long tail keyword. It will not rank and it won't stay there long content okay put a list of every single long tail keyword you can think of and incorporate them into your content like i did earlier with the with the long tail keywords incorporate them in so you, you write a load of long tail keywords down and you create all crazy different paragraphs and stuff like that which go the, the, the target all of those long tail keywords inside one long document like a real business would and in and you're still only targeting your major keywords at the top there you go, I've just been saying that. All long tail keywords in the content at least once. Okay, so pop all your long tail keywords, get them all in there, but obviously make it so it reads properly. Okay, H1, 2, and 3, including the main keywords. People are saying that they're not as important anymore. Your H1 is obviously, but H2 and H3 include in the main keywords on all, all of your long pages. Image, alt, and title tags, obviously, with keyword and location in some of them. Uh, proper optimized meta title. Now, Meta title, a lot of people are going after silly long tail. When I say proper optimized meta title, um, if I was a decorator in London, I would say Mike's decorators in London, best local price or, or top rated decorator or something like that. That is it. I wouldn't be going to try and squeeze a lot of keywords into your meta title. You need to decorate, you need the location. Everything else is, you can fit all that into your page, into your hashtag, your, your, your your meta descriptions and all the other other stuff that's going to be on there so you don't need to start stuffing keywords in there okay mike's decorators london um best prices locally something like that number one rated on trust pilot or whatever it is you want to be putting on there okay a sales pitch in your meta description okay the first thing a business sees about your website is your meta description underneath your mike's decorator location best cheapest prices and then underneath that, now people will say, well, you don't need the description anymore, it pulls from the page. If it pulls a load of crap content from your page, you're not gonna stand out in Google search, okay? So what you wanna be doing is a, um, a sales pitch in your meta description, which is basically something along the lines of, we have been the top rated decorator in the whole of London on Trustpilot or whatever, all the review sites for the last five years running. Customers have always rated us five stars where the best thing is, and don't forget you're gonna be using your schema as well in there, which is gonna show you five star rating above it, um, which you can do automatically with Magic Page uh, by adding the product schema. But you want you want a sales pitch. We are the best local, we're rated the best. We Not only are we rated the best and we get five star reviews, but we're also the best price, fully insured, blah, 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 bullshit. Make yourself stand out from the crowd. That's going to help you a million times more than just having a little bit of content that's dragged from your page because people are saying, well, meta descriptions don't matter. They don't matter for rankings as much, but they do, they are your first opportunity to sell to your client, okay? Way before they ever pick up the phone, before they click on your link, before they ever try and get in touch with you, the first thing that they, they see is your meta description. They read that and it's like, we want that guy there. Even if you're in the third or fourth position, that sales pitch that you do with your metal description is essential. Okay, geo coordinates in every single page. You want your geo coordinates in the back end of every single page. This is getting more and more important. We've done this for three or four years on complete autopilot with Magic Page plugin. I don't think any of the mass page builders do it. I'm not sure. 
um, but I do know that we add all your geo coordinates to every single page automatically into the back end without you doing anything schema um, you don't just want a single schema like like the local business schema which we initially started out with for magic page plugin you also for example if I was doing a locksmith I'd want some sort of entity schema in there I'd want the local business schema in there I want the locksmith schema in there I'd want the product schema in there um, website schema in there so four or five <laughs> sections of schema at the back end of, of your page now there's a schema builder included inside of magic page it's not difficult to do you just click the button build it copy and paste it across if you're spinning it then protect the stuff that you don't want to spin if you're not spinning it protect the full thing so that it that it's not treated as a spun content and there's videos on that so i don't need to go into it any further image and video metadata um this stuff seems to be helping um it's something that people have been doing now 12 18 months maybe a bit longer it's getting a lot more technical there's tools out there you can buy and there's, uh, there's good tools if you're on a mac you can get them for a tenner um that, that do all this for your, your image and your video meta and obviously setting locations in the back end of your pictures and things like that is, is can also be quite important it's quite difficult to do or, or on mass scale in mass page sites that but um any metadata you can stick into the back of your image and your video is only going to help okay so just to recap very very quick recap not a long video at all guys i'm not thinking i'm just trying to explain that people are doing mass page wrong they're spamming they're, they're trying to spam long tail keywords and it's the wrong way to do it and if you do it the right way then you're still going to rank okay so we want to map target major keywords okay so your page is set around major keywords your long tail keywords get chucked in there inside your content in stupid little places like inside your reviews or whatever however you decide to do it but major keywords on your pages okay we want long content so you want really really long content um, as long as possible if you've got 50 um, long tail keywords that you want to target put in a hundred words around every single long tail keyword even more um, just just get it really really long really really long content with silly little things like um, bold text over here italic text over there h1s h2s h3s and so on and so forth and just get it all as, as, as randomly spaced out and placed as possible a lot of the testers that look at your page will say oh, you've got too many h1s or too many h2s that doesn't really negatively affect your website so having too many is not a problem as long as you obviously don't do the whole page as the h1 um h2 and h3 but you know adding headers and titles within your content here there and everywhere is is, is good Okay, uh, we don't want multiple pages per keyword. Add it all to one, okay? This is something I've been saying for ages. I still get stick every single day of customers saying, when are you gonna release so that we can have two, three, and four magic pages um, to a site? A real business has a single page per location, very long content, includes everything they do inside that one page. That one page will rank all over the place, okay? That's how we've been building pages. And we've been testing it alongside doing five pages with five long tail keywords and putting all of them five into one website against the long page that incorporates everything. And we have never, not once, had where them five pages have, have, have beat um, the, the long content page. But you've only got to look at this in, in sheer numbers. Google wants traffic, okay? If you've got five long tail keywords in one page and you've got five long tail keywords in five separate pages, that means the page with the five long tail keywords included in the content is gonna get five times the traffic of any of these other pages, or the same as all five put together. What does that tell you? That page as a whole is five times more relevant than any of them other five pages over there. Instantly, Google is gonna like that more and move it further up the search, in which case you're gonna get more traffic and then five are gonna come down because of the crap, the spam. Okay, so that's the reason we've never done it. That's the reason we've still not done it. Um, we have added the, obviously, the HTML exporter, which you can use, but I'm using it as a backlink tool. That's why I've called it a backlink tool inside there, dynamic back backlink tool, because I don't want people using it to just build thousands of pages because they will not rank long-term. They, they just won't, okay? So multiple page keywords, add it all to one page. Like I said, and just target your major keyword. Spend, spend plenty of time on your content. 
okay now that this goes without saying it's the most important part of your page there's a lot of back-end schema and all sorts of other stuff going on now but still spend plenty of time on your content write long professional decent content covering all the areas and everything that you currently do with your business copy those who are already ranking um so basically i was saying this earlier the top three sites in any industry or any niche so say you was targeting i don't know i'm just looking out my window now say you were doing a pool services um in in, in your location what you're going to do is you're going to pick the biggest major cities around you you're going to search for pool cleaners pool fitters pool installation or whatever you want to call them and then you're going to find the top three websites that rank the most. You're going to go onto their websites. You're going to check out their content. You're going to check out their keyword density. You're going to go through how many H tags and title tags and everything else, what backlinks they've got, what social they've got, and all the other stuff. And then when you've finally finished doing that, um, then you know exactly how to structure your mass page strategy towards what, you, what it is you're looking to do um, with your mass page sites. So that's how you build your strategy. You build your strategy based on what others are doing. But look at the major cities, because with Mass Page, we do want to rank the major cities, but we also want to rank every single other area. Now, if you're doing exactly what's being done by the major city sites in all of the small areas within a 25 mile radius, then you're going to win in all them small areas. You might not win the major city battle, but you're going to take every small area. And like I've said in the past, if, if each area gets five or 10 or 15 searches um, and the major city, I mean, we did a test years ago where uh, Locksmith Manchester was getting 3,000, that's a concoction of about six keywords, was getting 3,000 searches a month. We did the research on the same keywords based on the over 900 and something locations in Greater Manchester, and we were looking at 18,000 searches a month. Now that's 18,000 searches a month that nobody else was going for. <laughs> so obviously that was the reason my business rocketed, <laughs> whereas everybody else was still trying to hit that one major city keyword. And that's what Mass Page enables you to do. Okay, so this is my last point. Stop treating Mass Page like spam. Um, it's not, <laughs> that's supposed to say not now. You don't know I'm bad with my spelling. Uh, if we do it properly, it's just a really fast way to build huge top quality sites. So that's exactly what I've been trying to get get the message across mass page is a way to build huge top quality websites really 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 quickly if you're trying to do multiple keyword pages and and, and, and a multiple long tail keywords and you're trying to spam it it isn't going to work google's too clever for that now five years ago it wasn't too clever for that now it is too clever for that but if every single one of your pages it's, I mean, you can spin where the paragraphs are, where the images are. You can you can do absolutely everything now inside of Magic Page. It enables you to, to, to take full control of the page and make every single page almost 100% completely unique. But you've got to spend the time and do it correctly. And if you follow the evergreen website strategy, then you can build one site and you can have it multiple times in, in, in multiple areas and you're going to win in every single one of them. But so just obviously think on that there stop treating mass page like it spam because it's not not now <laughs> if you do uh, if you do it properly it's just a really fast way to build huge top quality websites and that's how you need to look at it so you're looking at if a guy is trying to rank for a rochdale or oldham or liverpool or miami um how is he going to rank that single page he's not going to build five or six crappy keyword filled pages for all the long tail junk that never gets thingy that never gets searched and Google is going to de-index that and it's going to give the it's going to de-index the long t long tail pages so you've got three four five long tail pages on the right it's going to de-index them because they're only getting 20% of the search that the one on the left is getting which is picking up all of them five keywords because it's got it all included in its content so that's the one that's going to stay indexed so mass page is not dead guys okay but most people are just doing it wrong. And definitely a lot of the so-called experts out there that are telling people mass page is dead, you can't do it anymore. They're gonna de-index within four to six weeks, eight, 12 weeks and all the rest of it. They're completely wrong because they're doing it wrong. They're looking at mass page like they do ranking thousands of videos. They're trying to spam it and it's not spam, okay? Mass page is a great way to build huge top quality sites really, really quickly. And it's that simple, that's all mass page is.
Okay, guys, I hope that helps. I hope that clears up a few things for people. Any questions, stick them down below. Um, you don't need to stick them on the YouTube channel. Stick them on the group because I'm going to post this into, the, in, in, into my group anyway. And anyone's got any questions or needs recaps or unsure about anything, let me know and I'll create another video. All right, guys, thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.